that is breaking news. Are we, we, we're breaking this news? I think so. All right, that's that's breaking news right there. Um, All right. And then that's the most action we've gotten in East Providence in a while. I know. So in this video, you will find out everything you need to. <laughs> everything you need to know about living in East Providence, Rhode Island, the tiny small town uh, that everyone's talking about lately. And everyone seems, every first time home buyer in Rhode Island seems to be wanting to move there. So we decided to make a small video about why it's so popular, what you should know about it, and uh, much, much more. Before we get into that though, uh, my name is Albert. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Professionals and a team leader at the Hydra Group. This is Serena. Uh, our team uh, manager, also a realtor, right. East Providence, Rhode Island, located in uh, Bristol County, East on the Providence. border of Massachusetts on the, and Rhode Island. Yes, East Providence is at the start of the East Bay area. Actually, it's not yep. in the East Bay, but Riverside borders Barrington, and uh, it's, it starts the Wampanoag Trail down into the East Bay, which is cool. Um, mm -hmm. It's super close to Providence, super close to East Bay, Barrington, Warren, Bristol, and then also super close to Southern Mass, places like towns like Seekonk, Rehoboth, Swansea. It's a great location. I, I, we love East Providence. We lived yes. there for three years. Three years, yeah. yeah. So I'd say one of the main reasons, if I were to move there, I would not mind at all because uh, i would honestly be excited just because of its location uh, and we tell buyers all the time um, providence is extremely conveniently located in rhode island it's literally almost anywhere you are in east providence you're seven to eight minutes from downtown providence it's literally right there access to the highway you're really that you get access to i-95 right away mm -hmm. uh you're you would be if you had to go to boston you'd be in boston in about 50 to 55 minutes so that's also great right i do have some some just basic data about um you know east providence mm -hmm. population is forty-seven thousand, slightly over forty-seven thousand people the median age is 41.5 years old the uh, real estate property taxes are twenty dollars and fifty nine cents, so that's a little high. Yes, taxes are definitely on the high end uh, for for a first time. First, I'd say the Pro East Providence more of a starter home, uh, first time home buyer type of mm -hmm. uh, area. Not and all of it though. Some no, of it no, is not yeah, absolutely forever not. home. Yes, but most of it is, and that's what most most people are, who we deal with that are trying to move there. It's pretty much start yeah. at home. Uh, median household income is about $57,000. So it, it's right about there with the uh, median household income of Rhode Island. Medium property value, this this is definitely That's wrong. wrong. It's um, 296,500. So it's 296,500. For the last 12 months. Which is funny because look at how crazy, uh, how much this has appreciated. I think yeah. the data that I'm reading off of was done in uh 2018 i yeah. think it was in 2018 now we're in 2021 the median price has gone from 2 215,000 to 296,500 296,500 now think about how crazy that is the year over year growth when this was done was 3.4 percent and probably the last 24 months there's a uh i I think we did a video about this once, we but did. I think it's like over 30%. It shot up, yeah. yeah. East so Providence became like it's very, very quickly one of the most popular places to try to move to. Absolutely. The one thing about East Providence, their school district, not the greatest. It's got a C plus on niche.com. Mm -hmm. uh, I know people who have kids who have go to school in East Providence or have gone to school in East Providence. It's not terrible. Um, just not, you know, the best yeah school system in in rhode island there are a few areas a few neighborhoods in east providence namely rumford and riverside and then you have the town center area in between mm -hmm. um that town center is the closest to providence uh to downtown providence i should say and then you have that rumford area is the closest to the east side of providence it's mm -hmm. just a little drive over the bridge <laughs> two minutes you're in the east side and then riverside is a little closer to the east bay area they're all great spots to live in um, we lived closer to the riverside area when we were living there and uh, it was great we loved our time there so maybe we should break it down this way east providence so there's East Providence, there's Riverside, and then you have uh, Rum the Rumford. Those area. are the two neighborhoods in East Providence. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So the Rumford neighborhood in East Providence is actually more of a forever home, er, forever home type of area. There's Riverside has great forever. But, I think Riverside is a forever. But both. Home. I'm I'm saying both. 
both yeah. of those neighborhoods. I guess it's the town most, center. The town center is more of a, a first time home buyer. Start, yeah. uh, start at home, uh, raised ranch, 1,200 square feet, two bed, two, one and yeah. a half bath. Like you said, the average price point Certain is about 300,000 yeah. in East Providence. But if you go to Rumford, there's really not much that you can buy with 300,000. No, it's mostly yeah. 380, 400, 450. So it's yeah, a completely, right now. <laughs> completely, exactly. It's a yeah. completely different neighborhood. It's closer. That part is practically like, like, five minutes to the to the east side of providence which is a completely different it's a animal. great spot for uh young people yeah first, absolutely. i think it's a great spot oh, for yeah, first time home buyers because you're so close to the east side and you don't have to pay those prices of being on the east side i agree to talk about rumford we've done a blog about it if you want to read about rumford head to our web page we'll put the link uh underneath in the co- uh, caption neighborhood is super quaint uh, low crime, very family friendly, a lot of younger people moving there, like we said, because of the proximity to the east side of Providence. Um, according to Trulia, more than 70% of Rumford locals agree on the following, that the area is, area is dog friendly. You do need a car. Parking is easy. Um, you're usually, easy. If you live there, you probably have a driveway. It's comfortable to walk alone at night here. Uh, children play outside. Most yards are well kept and the, the neighborhood has plenty of holiday spirit. Residents of Rumford have plenty of shopping and restaurants at their fingertips Mm -hmm. there are the shopping strips in the center of east providence there's not too much over there but you know you can find stop and shop shaw's home goods planet fitness and workout world there's the huge seekonk center shopping plazas that border east providence about seven minutes away from rumford i mean a couple minutes away if you're in the center area of east providence and you'll find tons of fast food and restaurants irish pubs target starbucks pet stores everything that you need is over there and then you have you know five minutes away over the bridge uh the charming east side of providence where you can find craft craft restaurants bars shops um pretty much you know it's providence every everything that you that you could possibly want organic grocers farmers markets and then in rumford some of our favorite spots are uh avenue n yeah, seven stars avenue. bakery and then the pantry at avenue n it's like a little it's a, a little shop. shopping center over there with those three places it's a great spot mm-hmm. um for lunch or dinner or cocktails breakfast on the weekends at avenue n i believe avenue n is opening a new restaurant in Ooh. rumford i think it's down the street from a f- few friends of ours mm-hmm. um yeah that's what i heard uh-huh. so that's the that's the big news happening in rumford right now um that is that's <laughs> that's great that that is breaking news are we, we we're breaking this news i think so all right that's that's breaking news right there. Um, All right. And then that's the most action we've gotten in East Providence in a while. I know. So and then a great thing about East Providence: lots of diversity, um, lots yeah. of you know small restaurants to be found throughout East Providence. Mm-hmm. Great Asian market that I go to for. Uh, all the things that I want for cooking Asian food. Great Middle Eastern market. I'm Lebanese, so I like to go over there for my uh, pita bread and other things, um, bulgur. And Italian market, the Italian corner where we love to get sandwiches. Yeah. I'm also Italian. Yeah. I love that place. Yeah. Um, a number of small Portuguese restaurants. I think Odini's is one I've heard is fantastic. You can buy local seafood and local honey at Digger's Catch. One of my favorite restaurants in the uh, in the town center is a bisu. I love a bisu. Great Japanese food. I they know me. I go there for the katsu curry all the time. It's delicious. Katsu curry chicken, right? <laughs> yeah. The comedy connection in East Providence, yeah. Bold Point Park. They're in the uh, summer. Man, I've seen I Ziggy for- Marley there. I forget how much there is in East no, Providence. No, East Providence is awesome. Yeah, the comedy connection is. Uh huh. It's, it's it's dope. Great, yeah. It's it's. I think it's the only. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but I think it's the only comedy store in rhode island but it's really cool and it's actually very popular yeah it's uh, a good very, venue yeah and there's, you, you there's, can go pretty much like what i don't know any night of the week but is it like thursday to sun sunday uh, or something I'm up right now. but you can see average comedians performing and then they have some big names come there too yeah no they have a um, lot of big names like look who's coming uh, colin quinn is coming july 15th michael rapaport michael yeah dude oh we should go buy this i'm oh, buying these cool. tickets i'm buying these tickets right <laughs> now dude i'm buying these tickets right now uh, all these guys i know you're not too big into comedy no, but you all are. of these guys are like on top of their Ari Shafir, I know him. Ari he's from Shafir. Netflix. Yeah, Ari, yeah, he's from Netflix. This guy's very funny. Mm-hmm. Michael Rappaport is very funny. Oh, he's going to be there July 21st. That's next y- weekend. Yep, yep. Maybe we'll buy Gilbert tickets. Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, he's hilarious. Oh, wow. You know, I read somewhere that Hitler 
had a grandson who was a convicted child molester. Imagine being the embarrassment to the Hitler family. <laughs> Now I'm getting really excited. Yeah. We should move. All right, we're you moving forget, back. You forget what? We're moving back to East Providence. <laughs> That's it. We're moving back to East Providence. <laughs> and it's, uh, uh, what, what's right next to it? The Black Duck? Is that what Black it is? The Black Duck, yeah. Uh, nice little uh, pub and yep. good cocktails um, you can enjoy before or after the comedy show. And then you have Bull Point Park over there, mm -hmm. which I was saying I saw Ziggy Marley. I, go, I would go to the reggae fest like every year. I don't think they're doing it this year. I haven't seen but yep. I've seen Ziggy Marley there. I saw Shaggy. Yeah. Um, I guess Halsey has been there. And um, then also another thing is, uh, the, I don't know if you've said this yet or not, but the East Bay bike path uh, yeah. obviously goes through East Providence. Like most of East Providence, uh, you know, it's it's mm -hmm. a big, a good amount of... of From Providence uh, through, East Providence through East Providence to, to the East to, Bay. To, to East Bay. Bay. So you have, you have at least three major Crystal. points of access to the bike path mm -hmm. uh, with parking spots. So you can oh, park, yeah. you can park your car, Get your bike, get in the bike path, oh, yeah. come back. So that's really cool. Great, too. great city to be in if you like to bike or run. Then you have Riverside. There's mm -hmm. like that's on the that's on the the Riverside. <laughs> um, yeah. It's on the water, and Crescent Riverside Park. has Crescent Park, fun park on the water. I think they have a clam shack, like a clam cake shack, little seafood, fried seafood shack over there, and then there's a carousel for kids. But Riverside is great. Uh, there's a lot of houses. Like you'll you'll find you can drive down a random street on the water side, and you're gonna find that a lot of houses have like really pretty water views. Definitely an underrated area of rhode island i think mm -hmm. um and for the prices to be by the water it's really nice crescent park also has a little beach uh down at the bottom you can find it if you kind of like make your way down that you can hang out on just for a casual beach day mm -hmm. but yeah riverside is great town center is great and then rumford rumford's probably the favorite area because that's where you're the closest to the east side you could, there's the most going on over there I'll, I'll say this. If a buyer were to ask me, what do you think about East Providence? We're thinking about um, buying our first home there. And, uh, you know, we'll probably want to be there for at least five years. I would say it's a great idea. It's a great town. Uh, taxes are slightly higher than uh, maybe the average. Uh, you get really good properties. Most properties are well maintained. Uh, average size between, uh, I want to say between uh, 1,200 and 1,500 square feet. A lot of raised ranches. But you get really good properties with a backyard. Not a ton of privacy, but you definitely get your ba backyard. There's mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of capes as well. Some have more privacy than others, depending on where you are. Absolutely. But yeah, the majority yeah. of the areas. And uh, yeah, super, like I said earlier, very the location is, is, is super. I think uh, yeah. best location in Rhode Island. Because really, yeah, for be. affordability. For affordability, um, yeah, you're right. You're, you are so close to everything. Yeah. Close to the East Bay, close to Providence. Mm -hmm. If you need to get to somewhere in Northern Eye, you're close to there. Yeah. If you need to get you know a little further to the West Bay, you're close to there too and if you need to go to mass to boston you're about as close as you can get from mm -hmm. rhode island so i agree east, yeah east so providence is great absolutely yeah so with that said this is it for this video if you guys have any questions if you're thinking about moving there or if you have any further questions regarding east providence do not hesitate to reach out as always uh we'd love to help you out that is really one of our major areas of focus that's where we do most of our business and where we have most of our clientele clientele and friends uh with that said for this video we are out oh no we're not don't forget to subscribe <laughs> now we're out bye bye